So let's create our own bar chart using our World Bank data. We should not overload our chart with all countries, but rather focus on some highlights. So what we will do is to limit ourselves to the 10 countries with the highest healthcare expenditure per person. You can also look at other extreme or average values. Let's sort the World Bank data set by the column healthcare expenditure total per person in US dollars. Remember to select the whole sheet, not just the column you're sorting. Select the top 10 countries, which is the first 11 rows, including the header row. And copy this to another sheet. For this, press Ctrl-C for copy, and then insert a new sheet, and press Ctrl-V. Because of the way Google Docs works, we now have to bring the data columns we are interested in next to the column with the country names, which is column A. Click on the grey label to select it. Release the mouse and then click and drag until it is in position. Your column A should now be country names and column B should be healthcare expenditure per person total US dollars. Your sheet should look like this. Now select the first two columns and open Chart underneath the Insert menu. One of the suggested charts should be a column chart. Click on it and you should see a preview. Play around with the customization settings. Try to remove and position the legend, change the colour of your bars, etc. When you are done, click on insert and your chart will be there. If you click on the chart, you can move it around. Notice the triangle up on the right? It's the Options menu. Select Edit to change the settings of the chart. Can you change it to a bar chart? So now you know how to create a column chart. As you probably noticed, you can customize Google Charts so that the colors of the chart match your brand colors. You can download it as an image, or you can even embed the chart on your website, which means it will keep interactive features. It's a handy tool. There are many other types of charts you can use, and we have created a special School of Data handbook for you. You can find that below in the resources and much more information about data on our website, schoolofdata.org.